Hi everyone, Vegas from Critic here, Jeff for K. Howard, here to review the new Martin Scorsese film, Silence. Uh, this movie left me speechless, just gonna be honest right up front. And I was kind of upset in the beginning because he only showed the film, I belong to the Broadcast Film Critics Association and I belong to the Las Vegas Film Critics Society and, and he didn't show, the movie they said wasn't ready in time to show critics, but LA saw it and some New York people saw it, film critics. So I really wish we had this shown to us in time before voting to consider it in all categories because Martin Scorsese is just a living legend when it comes to filmmakers. And I've followed his career since I was a little boy. I mean, I just going back, I can remember Taxi Driver in high school. I can remember uh, The King of Comedy. And then when I was in college, uh, going to film school, I saw Goodfellas, which just had its 20th anniversary. And uh, just, uh, just his movies are so different from each other. Uh, but this is a very personal film. Silence is extremely personal. Personal. And... If you know Martin Scorsese in terms of reading uh, interviews with him and over the years, all the, the in-depth discussions he has, he's literally obsessed with the story of Christ. He really is. He loves to talk about early examples like silent films, or he, he talks about the last temptation of Christ that he did. And I was, you know, my family are Protestants, you know, Assembly of God. So I remember when that movie came out, people were protesting the last temptation, but they didn't even see the film. I'm like, how, what is wrong with you? Never even, you, how do you judge a movie or anything unless you see it? You know, but that was such a unique perspective of that Christ as a human being with his wants and desires. I mean, that's just, I haven't made a lot of people angry, you know, but just, he has been obsessed with the story of Christ. So Silence, he's been trying to make this movie for a long time, setting up the film. Uh, you have two Jesuit priests, uh, Andrew Garfield and Adam Driver, uh, going over from Portugal, going over to Japan in 1640s. And this is during the feudal system. So Japan was like a closed society. I mean, they killed people who showed up there. But over the years, you know, many years, they've started to convert a lot of the Japanese to Christianity. But the, the Japanese are dying for priests, literally dying for priests. They're being executed. But they want mass. They want guidance. So uh, Liam Neeson was one of the head priests, uh, Ferraro. Uh, he disappeared. And there was one letter that took years to get back to Portugal of him confessing that the Japanese, when they catch you, the feudal system, the, the not the emperor, what's his name? Just these executions, the, the prefects. Their attitude is denounce Christianity, either join our society or leave or die. It's very simple. So they saw the threat of Christianity as the end of everything they know. And the movie is really intelligent because the people high up in the Japanese system, they understand what's going on. And they're trying to convince Andrew Garfield and Adam Driver, who are blinded by, I wonder if blind is the right word, yes, blinded by their faith. And that's what's unique about this movie, is that it's about faith. It's about the the struggle with their faith. It's about their dedication to their faith. And people would rather die, or some people would rather die, than to denounce Christ or Christianity. This is an extremely personal film for Martin Scorsese. You can just see it everywhere. And also, it's just flawless when it comes to cinematography, when it comes to his direction, when it comes to the acting. Everything is top. Virtuoso filmmaking. And I may sound like I'm, you know, really blowing this movie up, but I'm not. I'm not exaggerating it, but it's a very specific audience who are going to want to like, who are going to see silence and appreciate it. Saw the screening, 20-somethings, 30-somethings coming out in front of me, telling the rep, taking notes for the studio, you know, reactions, and they just didn't get it. They didn't. And it's understandable that they didn't get it. Here they're coming to see a movie that did the director of Taxi Driver, Goodfellas, uh, Hugo, and they're expecting something along those lines to be entertained. Not knowing they were going into a heavy two and a half hour drama about Jesuit priests in feudal Japan and about them converting Japanese. You know, they saw Liam Neeson. They put these big stars in there. Adam Driver, Kylo Ren from Star Wars. Unbelievable performances, nothing like them. And in fact, if you watch Andrew Garfield as the movie goes along, he starts taking on the image of Christ, his hair and his beard and his face. That's what I saw, the imagery. This is a movie you need to see more than once to really appreciate the artistry, the storytelling, and the passion that Martin Scorsese has. I don't want to blow this out of proportion and try to mention every Japanese actor that's in this movie. They're all incredible. I don't want to go into a lot of details because it's really out of context unless you see the film, you know. Uh, it's just an amazing experience. If you've never seen a Martin Scorsese film, well, maybe that's not the right expression, just see this movie. Trust me. Be patient with it. Understand what's going on, what's happening to the characters, what's happening with the story. It's almost like watching a foreign film, you know? Foreign films are just, you know, exactly like that, about people, about struggles. So, Silence is one of the most amazing films I've seen in a long time, and I'm dying to know what you think about it. Just incredible, incredible film. 
All right, for more reviews and interviews, just surf on over to my website at VegasFromCritic.com. Also, check me out on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And if you like what you see, please comment below, share, thumbs up, and please subscribe. I'm Jeffrey Howard in Las Vegas. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you next time.